Anarchy Thumb and welcome back to Let's Play Imperion Galactic Survival. You'll recall last session we recovered this, our new uh, capital vessel, which we're going to be taking to the X7 station near Mai, if that's how you pronounce that. So we had a few repairs we wanted to make inside it first. Let's have a look how we're doing on resources. Uh, advanced constructor. Oh, I'm in signal logic. Hang on. It's mostly iron we've got to think about. Okay, looks good. Uh, we definitely need to refine this pentaxi. We're going to need to refine a lot more than that as well. Oh, we actually got a ton of. Where the hell did this come from? Huh. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to refine that pentaxi. Um. Maybe it was our reward for doing the mission. Well, anyway, um, we've got to make a few repairs. So, let's have a look around and see where the damage is. We did blow off a few bits when we were taking it over, sadly. I could also do with strapping on some turrets. I'm not entirely happy about having solely fixed forward fire weapons. God damn it. Ah, I can take my helmet off as well. Oh no, I can't. I've got to have my helmet on to use the night vision, haven't I? So the big thing was we've got to repair the access to the actual uh, flight computer up there. I wonder if it might not be better to actually just build an elevator up there. Uh, oh, let's put this in repair mode. Get out some of the dents. Uh, that is not safe there at all. Anyway. I don't, obviously don't want an elevator coming straight down. Um, but if I were to have one... Is that a, an exit door up there? Uh, if I were to have an elevator, let's say... Actually, where this one is. Hmm. No, nah, it would make it a bit awkward. Um, okay. Well, we just repair what was there then. I think we're going to need to make it uh, airtight. So we've got to plug that hole. That's just one steel block, probably. I'll just send me drone through and see what the what the other blocks around there look like. We want to try and make it look, you know, reasonably close to the original. There's just a big hole here. Um, so probably a slope block. Yeah, a slope block will go there. Right, so that's one hole we've got to fix. Uh, we're going to need some catways, and I think we need at least one elevator block as well. I'm not too worried about this missing bit here. Although we're going to have some spare blocks. Actually, I've got a bunch of steel blocks. Ah, they're not the right size though, that's the thing. They're not the right size. These need to be large steel blocks, the same size you'd use for a base. So, one elevator block. Uh, 
and some stairs, I guess. Um, like a one set of downward stairs and one, two, let's see then. Um, okay, I'm just going to make a small stock of, uh, let's say, a couple of elevator blocks, uh, a couple of large steel blocks. Now, let's make it. I'm sure we're going to find more holes. I mean, I see another one already. Let's make 10 large steel blocks. Uh, let's say five catwalk blocks, a couple of elevators. Make sure we bring the texture and color tools. What's that hole up there? Is that open to the sky? Yep, there's a hole in the roof as well. Okay, well I think I know what I'm doing anyway. So elevators, at least one set of stairs, some catwalks. Is that meant to be accessible from this side? Oh. Ow. Fucking hell. Yeah, that is meant to be accessible, isn't it? There's supposed to be a catwalk here as well. Uh, probably more than five catwalks. We'll have to make ten catwalks as well, I think. Okay. Let's uh, do the thing. Let's get on with it. So, it is... Steel blocks L we need. Ten of those should do. Uh, walkway and railing, that's what we need for the catwalks. Let's have another ten of those. Stair blocks. I think I only need two, but I guess let's make ten. We'll have some spare then, anyway. Let's see if we can pick the stuff from the farm while we wait. I'm also going to have to take the thing back up into space uh, once I've repaired all the holes in the hull and see if it's, if it's um, actually like holding the temperature in. Because I do want to be able to have a farm on the capital ship if we can. It seems a bit odd they put uh, like grow plots on a capital ship if it was impossible to grow plants in space. It might just be because we killed the power and blew holes in the walls. What the fuck? I don't know what that was. Something spooky. Um, right, food processor. Let's have a look at you. Ah, you're out of purified water. Didn't I make a bunch of purified water? Ah, no, I didn't. I didn't convert it. I needed the constructor for something else. Okay, well, we better make a bunch of that then. Let's get some food out of the fridge.
Whatever it's shooting at, it's not getting it. Let's look at the constructor then. Right, these are all the parts we need to do the repairs. Let's get the texture and colour tool, which I've left in one of these cargo boxes. Uh, no, actually, I need the multi tool, don't I? What can I take off the hot bar here? Rocket launcher, I guess. Is this thing shooting up? Let's go and have a look. Mind you, just give it a little bit of a hand. Ah! Oh, fuck you! That's what it was shooting at. Holy hell. That was a bit of a surprise. Got to be honest. Oh, elevator blocks. I forgot to make the elevator blocks. I must be carrying something I can drop off. I'm, it's because I'm carrying all this food. That's why my inventory is full. I've also got planks and weird crap in here that I don't need. Stop doing all of these things. We will produce some more purified water eventually. Right now, what I need from you is elevators, which I may have not spent the points to unlock yet. They should be earlier. Uh, elevate. Oh, and we've got no points for them. Motherfucker. How far off are we from the next level? Not far. Uh, okay, we can't build elevator blocks, so you might as well get back on processing this water for me. Ah, new mistake. I forgot to unlock the elevators. Guy has helpfully given us some meat and got some water there. Got pumpkins, pear things, space durians. Let's toss in all the food and see what options we get. Uh, we need to make some sprouts at some point as well. Because all the plants on the CV are dead, so even if we can plant stuff there, we need to uh, put some new sprouts in. Hmm, let's make some canned meat. Canned meat, which is uh, the, like, the best portable food stuff. It gives uh, slightly more hunger, well, I'm not sure it gives more hunger, but it gives a, a bit of a better health boost than the canned vegetables. Uh, the drawback being, of course, that you've got to have meat for it. Uh, we can definitely make some more coffee, not that we've used a great deal of it, although I did, I think I did use one cup of coffee up on the moon when I needed that energy to get inside before I died. Okay, what are we going to have left? Like four tomatoes, 
Uh, so we could still make a can of veggies. Um, after that, might as well make some space fries. And bake some pumpkins. Popcorn, I mean, it's barely worth making. It's only 50 food. But whatever, let's make a couple of popcorns as well. For dessert. Okay, well, I guess we're not waiting for the elevators because we can't make them yet. So let's go and install the blocks that we can install. Wait a minute, did I pick up the... Yes, I did. Here they are. Colour tool. And the texture tool. Now this thing looks like it's going to take a lot of power, so I'm not going to turn it on until we're actually ready to take off. I'm going to make sure all the fuel and O2 tanks are full, of course. So, any missing parts here? Well, there are... What's meant to be up here? It looks like this is meant to be something. Do you know what it might be? Uh, there should be another gangway across the top here as well. Um, I can certainly make one. Let's repair the bits that we know need repairing first of all though. Which is this part here. So, uh, I'm not going to need the pistol for a little bit, or the sniper rifle, so I can take those off. Got walkways and steel blocks, and probably won't need the shotgun, so some stairs on there instead. Now what kind of stairs will fit on here? Will stairs fit on here? I hope so. Oh, yes, they will. Uh, Freestanding. Freestanding stairs. Very good. Then we've got... Uh, this looks like the right gangway, I think. Just the basic type 1. Yeah, it's actually the only kind of walkway. So we've got the whole gangway back on that side. Uh, let's do the same thing over here. Come on. This fucking thing is not behaving well. There, go in fucking there, you Is this damaged? Do I have to repair it before I can hang stuff off it? Oops shit, I just disassembled that. Ah, it's fine, it's fine. Let's put a fresh one in. Now those uh is that supposed to be green? Yeah, this is meant to be green and the pattern with the grids on the side. Uh, apply to whole block, yes. Is it? Maybe not. Ah, whatever. Fuck it, it's the wrong way around. Uh, does this multi-tool have to uh, change and rotate? There we go. Uh, 
Okay, that's... Uh, is that the right way up? Hard to tell, they look the same. Bright green, and this one here just needs to be... That one. Hmm. You know, that could be seen as a bit of an exploit, actually. Uh, instead of having to spend time to repair the block in situ, you can just disassemble it and place it back down again. And that probably only takes one multi-tool charge. Could be a bit cheaty. Right. Nope, still can't get this fucking walkway in here. I don't know why this won't work. Um... I can do that, but I, th I thought that was the wrong way up for that. Maybe it's fine. Does that even make a difference? I've got to repaint this. In black. And actually, while I'm thinking about it, the gangways over there will need repainting as well. Black, black, black. And let's just fill this back in and texture that one back up again. There we are. Now we need some stairs. There we go. And some more gangways. Let's paint these black. Paint the stairs black and these stairs black as well. We've got... what the fuck is this? Um, ah, I know, that's a ramp top, isn't it? Yeah, so this one's a ramp top. That goes on the corner over here. Pop that one in there. We've got... Uh, which texture would it be? Why am I too hot? What am I standing next to that's making me too hot? Oh, bollocks, it's only one degree over. It's not draining my health, is it? Just my stamina. Yeah, we should be fine. It's actually cooler up here. Oh, hang on. I thought those were stairs. Apparently they're not. I guess we need some more stairs to go in here then. This is a bit of a ridiculous setup. Yes, definitely need some stairs to go in there. Up the middle there. Now that texture is... This one, I think? No, it can't be that one. Ah, it's that one. There it is. How can that possibly be the wrong way up? That's the only way up that could go. Oh, it's different on different sides. Oh, we're not going to get them the same then. Yeah, that's interesting. The texture on the left-hand side is actually different from the texture on the right. Okay, well, that's fine. Now that I know. Alright, let's look around for some holes then. 
fill in. There's one here that needs doing. I guess with a. Uh... Ooh, what could what could go there? I know what would go there in Rising World, but I don't think that shape exists in Imperial. Sort of a cut corner shape, I think would be best. Uh, that one maybe. So hole number one, any more in the roof? Yep, and this one's just your basic cuboid block. Fill that in. All of the damage should be in this area, because this is where I was shooting at. There'll be some damage to the wings, but it won't affect air tightness, which is what I'm mostly worried about. There's that one. Which needs to be the basic uh, roughed up metal texture. We've got... Uh, walls here, thin wall blocks, thin walls, this one, excellent, and this one needs to be the green gritty thing, And somehow it's still the wrong way around. Sometimes it's like Imperial just deliberately rotates things wrong just to see if you're still awake. Okay, anything in the ceiling over here? There is not. There is a hole in the floor here, which looks like... Just basic black cubes, I guess. Okay, with that done, uh, we should be airtight. Let's see if we can find our way back into the farm sections in the wings and stuff. Just make sure there's no damage over there. So, these are all okay. These are perfectly sealed off. That leads back outside, I don't want to go there. Looks all fine in here. Now, how do I remove these dead plants? Like that, I guess. Boop. 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 And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Uh, we can put some stairs in here. Are the stairs airtight? They're not. Uh, but this doesn't poke through to space anyway, so that's fine.
Oh, is that the, uh... That's the warp drive. Okay, let's see I can... Texturable wedge. And what sort of textures can we put on stairs? Hmm. Not bad, actually. Why can't I climb these? What the fuck? I can't actually climb up the stair blocks. Can climb up these all right. Okay, I guess the texturable stairs are a no-no then. The whole point of having them there in the first place is that we could climb them. I guess we'll just have to put in your basic ordinary stair blocks then. Right, how about wedge stairs? No? Fucking hell. I wasn't expecting this much trouble with the putting in stairs part. Freestanding stairs are okay. Fine then, freestanding stairs it is. Alright, I think that's repairs done. Let's have a look at the tanks now. There's a bit of fuel left. Uh, we're going to turn the thrusters off. And we're going to set this as our home spawn. Turn the power on. We're going to need lots more O2. Turn all the lights on. <sighs> uh, I guess it's cooled down now because the ventilator's kicking in. Excellent. All right. Um, we've, now we've got to remember, if we turn the power off, we lose oxygen in here. So we've got to make really sure the power always stays on. It shouldn't be too difficult, but we will have to keep on top of it. Okay. Uh, oxygen. Needed to fill currently in tanks, currently in base. Four, six, seven, eight. I'm not quite sure what that means. Oh, we need 4,678 oxygen to oxygenate the environment. Right, I get you. Okay, next thing then. Fuel and oxygen and pentaxid. Oh, 
let's see how we're getting on back at base. It is a very hot day today. Right, food processor. <gasps> Give me those cans and coffee. Eat all of this stuff. And a popcorn. Rest goes in the fridge. Uh, as do these tomatoes and so on and so forth. Wait a minute, why is it turned off? Is the base run out of power? No? Why is it turned off? Turn it on. Uh, let's see then. We should have some plenty of purified water. Let's warp fuel. We need some O2. My O2 generator down in the water is running. So I'm going to go and get some more oxygen. Uh, we're going to need some more fuel. So why don't you get cracking on some large Prometheum packs and then some more gangways so I can work on that bit in the ceiling. In the meantime, uh, I will head down to the waterfront and see if we've got any more O2 saved up. Okay, good thing is he can't get us under here. Bad thing is we can't go back up to shoot him. Two next. O2, there we go. Nice. Uh, and it's still going, it's still going to produce a little bit more. The thing is, um, obviously, we don't need it oxygenated while we're down here, but if I turn it off, it's then going to think it needs to refill entirely. Uh, hold on. Colla is there a collapse all button? No. Okay, O2 tanks. Actually, I can just go in the main, can't I?
Right, that's not going down super fast. Okay, uh, oh, my motorbike. Let's get the warp fuel. Let's get the warp fuel, get the fuel fuel, and go and find this EX7 station. Hopefully it's not a... Sh should I? Well, do you know what? Um, I suppose we can always land on my and do a bit of mining if we have to. So what we are going to do, we are going to... Fill up the cargo holder on the ship with everything. Oh, oh damn it. Uh, where were those things again? Deco, components, building blocks. There we are. Right, so we've got fuel fuel, we've got warp fuel, I've uh, got some raw meat which I could be processing into something. Probably just ham. Can I do some ham? Yeah, let's do some ham. Okay. Spoiled food, rocket launcher, thruster S, steel blocks. We're going to start transferring everything from here to the CV, and even if we have to come back here, obviously we'll be bringing the CV back with us. Oh. Uh, there's no ammo in any of the guns. At least there's a fill all button here, though. That's good to know. Right, we've got. Well, we've got 20 hours of fuel until we turn the thrusters on, and then we've got 6 hours. You can see how the power really does jump up when we turn the thrusters on. Okay, let's, we've only got two cargo boxes, are you serious? A bit stingy. We'll worry about what we actually need to keep later. For now, let's just drop everything off. Don't know why I brought the fries with me, but I'll eat them. Just going to make lots of space so that I have to make as few trips as possible. Uh, sure, okay, leave that there. And possibly a good idea to start building an another cargo box, or seven, if we're going to use this as a permanent base. Thank you. Uh, we need to leave the Prometheum and the iron in there while this is going through. Let's take everything else. Check all the cargo boxes. Uh, what about the fridges? Only one fridge.
Uh, is there a constructor? Please, there, there is one constructor. But one is all we need. Seaweed. Somebody's going there? Probably. It came out of the constructor. Need. Uh, we've got to check the food processors as well. Yeah, there's ham to bring. Sprouts plates. Should be everything. Surprising, really. Oh, no. Fruits there. Some food we never ate. Incredible this didn't perish. Uh, we can't empty the fuel tanks, more's the pity. Oh, actually, we can. Withdraw fuel. Nice, okay. So that means the base is completely shut down now. Which we didn't want because there's actually stuff still being crafted. So let's put some fuel back in. Just enough to get it ticking over again. Uh, well, I think we've pretty much got everything now. We're just waiting for this to finish. And then we'll be off somewhere. Don't know where we're going. My Don't know what it's like. Uh, probably just like Omicron. As, like, in the second planet. It's times like this, I kind of wish I was still playing Hearthstone. When these construction queues were going through before, what I would just do is just alt-tab out and fire up a couple of games of Hearthstone while I waited for them to finish. I had to quit that game. They just ruined the meta too much for me. Okay, well that's the sum of our labours. So we've got 53 iron ore left. Oh, and the motorbike's folded up into a kit. Uh, let's just run over here. So we've got pentaxid in the tanks. We've got fuel in the fuel bay, we've got oxygen in the oxygen tanks. I think we're ready to go. So we're going to go and... Um, I've actually been sitting here for an hour now, so that's a recording session. But we're going to go and see if we can lay eyes on the EX-7 station at least. Um, in the vain hope that we don't have to shoot at it, uh, I'm not going to bother making any ammo for the guns. Not that I can anyway, because they, those LS charges and whatnot are quite expensive. Uh, now I need to get up to the. I think I'm a Jake. So let's see if we've done these gangways properly. Wait a minute. Uh, where is it again? This one. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, there we go. No, that's outside. Ah, here we are. So we go in the cockpit, switch to V mode. Um, 
pump all our fuel into the main fuel tank. Oxygen's fine. Warp fuel's fine. Okay, thrusters on. Um, let's get back into space. Goodbye, Elia. We may or may not be back soon. Let's go into that view. I do love the shape of this ship. Someone really did put a lot of effort into making that like weird insect-like tail. Okay, galaxy map or sector map. We're going to my orbit, which has three planets, which is a novelty. Usually it's one planet per like sector. Okay, well here we go. Oops. Get ourselves pointed towards the warp marker. Accelerate to a reasonable speed. And this is the cool part. Nice. And here we are in May. And well, in the May sector. Let's have a look. So May is the closest planet to us. Uh, Fan is around Fan is nearby and there's supposed to be another planet around somewhere. Oh there it is. So there's Fan, May and Dobra. What was that, sorry? Escape pods are not on option anymore. You need to take the EX-7 station back under your control by force. Make yourself familiar with that station, then wipe out the aliens. Use the X-ship as a start station. Reclaim the EX-7 Explorer and get revenge for your crew. But remember, this is just the beginning. Oh, bollocks. So we, got, we are going to have to fight something. We probably need to land somewhere and get some resources then. But let's go and have a look at it anyway. It's actually on the other side of May. Fucking hell, it's a long way away. And yeah, so May looks like Omicron. Um, that one looks like a moon. Actually, these both. This looks like a planet with two moons, basically. So we've got May, and then it's two moons. So I imagine the atmosphere down there isn't breathable. Hopefully, there's water down there that we can produce oxygen with. Otherwise, we're going to be shuttling back and forth between here and Elia quite a lot. Oh, shit. Uh, we can't outrun a space drone. God damn it. Okay, I'm... I'm going to have to scramble the fighter. Scramble the fighter and hop in there. Come on. Oh shit, it shot the fucking wing off in one hit. To be fair, that was probably largely me. Okay, I need to replace the wing on the fucking stealth fighter. Um, whatever, we got it anyway. Whoops, steady, 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 steady. Kidding me? That's docked like that. Sure. Uh, 
Uh, there was laser fire coming in. Was there a fucking hole in the roof now? No? Okay, let's get back up to the cockpit then. Uh, I still need to go and have a look at this AX7 station. Will be a good idea to get some turrets on as early as possible. We are a bit of a sitting duck. Oh god, there's another fucking drone. I don't think it's aggroed to us though. I'm actually not really sure what the setup to this is. And I thought we were living on the planet in Ilya, so I don't know why we've got a, a station or a ship or whatever it is out here. Oh god, another fucking laser drone. I just wanted to have a look at the station. Can you not just leave me alone while I go and have a look at the station, you cocks? Okay, there is water on my, that's good. There are bases and things to do down here. This is, yeah, this seems to be more or less Omicron. I've only got four minutes of power in atmosphere with these thrusters, so we don't want to be lingering down here though. Let's get back up and see if we've shaken that. Space drone. Jesus, we've only got eight minutes of power in space. Ah, there it is. I can see its uh, shape now. Oh, well, that's interesting. EX7 Explorer is a different mark from the EX7 station. Okay, well, gods be praised, the base doesn't seem to have any guns defending it. Presumably it has aliens defending it, but no guns. I hope I'm not too late, let's check inside. We will do that. Um, I'll do that next time though, that'll be a good way to start the next episode. So, uh, until then, outside... F oh fucking hell. What the fuck is that? Nothing we want to mess with without ammunition. Okay, anyway, um, and until next time then, that's been Let's Play Empyreon Galactic Survival of Veneki Thump. Do hope you've enjoyed it. Join me next time for an assault on the station and hopefully not the loss of our new capital ship to whatever the fuck that thing is. So, uh, yeah, join me for that and I will see you next time.